Also, it seems for me that you instinctively use thought, as most people understand it, merely as a means to communicate and articulate deeper experiences. Even when we were in the river, and I was in the river, I was cold, you know, like I'm telling you, right, okay, I'm cold now. You're saying... Uh, like, I, I was expecting you were going to say, right, breathe in through the right nostril, block the left nostril, now exhale through the mouth. Now, hold, pull the uh, Mullah Banda, tighten yep. Adiana Banda. I was thinking, oh, it's going to be, like, you know, very prescriptive. Go again! <laughs> He's not taught me the techniques yet! <laughs> Teach me! But you said instead, uh, no, just be in the cold, be in the cold. <laughs> and uh, then Let I your said, body do what your body is able to do. And, yeah. like, in this moment, I uh, recognise that... You know, like, and like, as I said to you also, what shall I do? Where shall I put the attention? Don't put it nowhere. Nowhere. Don't put the attention nowhere. Uh, yes. Other things I remember from this brief experience, uh, when we were doing the, is that Tai Chi we were doing on the shore? What were we no, doing? No, no, it just came up with that. It's you a, came up with that. A, a, actually, as improvised Tai Chi. Actually, <laughs> I just actually, came back. I don't know what that was. I was just a, moving actually, around. Uh, once I had no toilet and I had to uh, do my poopy. So I had to stand in this awkward position. They call it a horse dance. The Shina Banda Bumba posture, asanas, uh, whatever, you yeah, know. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, I uh, lately did it for three hours, uh, uh, barefoot in the snow. And you know what? In three days, I do it with anybody in the snow, barefoot, standing in that awkward uh, 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 horse uh, stance, yes, yes. which activates the adrenal axis. So when did you know that it... Uh, actuates the yeah, dream. Yeah, uh, uh, well, when you go into the cult, you learn. <laughs> it's interesting, mythically, uh, like in uh, mythology, the acknowledgement that to discover the truth of who you are, you need to go into the belly of the beast, you need to go under the ocean, you need to go into the darkness, into the pain. That's where you will discover yeah. the true gift of the self. If you never go below the surface, if you never go under the skin, then you will never discover the truth of who you are you will only vibrate on the higher frequencies so for you the cold has become your teacher you have become the the yogi of the cold from the cold you have discovered the deep truth thanks for watching this podcast and going all the way to the end of it was usually kind of to click the bell it might not be there because over there and uh, subscribing so that we can infiltrate your serenity and peace of mind with jangling bells and buzzes thank you <laughs>